Okay, here in this video, we're going to see how Mathematica can create its own serial port. Once it's created its own serial port, it can talk to anything that's hooked to that serial port. In this case, the USB cable. If you have a sensor that has a USB cable, Mathematica can talk back and forth with it. For example, an Arduino, uh, a Raspberry Pi, or in my particular case, my favorite, is a product from Parallax.com, P-A-R-A-L-L-A-X.com, called a propeller. It's a controller. I have a sensor here that I'm going to hook up. You don't have to use this sensor. You can use any sensor that you have available in your um, toolkit. Um, this is a picture of it. It's a uh, laser, and it measures distance. Below this, down here, you can see I'm highlighting a um, a website. It's, it's product specific. You can go to it, and you can download data sheets, manuals. Well, here it is. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, anyway, I'm getting out of this. I didn't mean to go there, but there's the website. And you can see down here, as long as I'm here, manuals, utility, software, etc. Um, so going back to my video. Um, anyway, this has a serial cable. It's an older generation cable. They used to use RS-232 cables. That's been replaced in the more modern time by USB cables. So I have a cabling problem. But luckily they have this device right here. It's an adapter that, it, that uh, changes from one cable style to the other. On the right hand side you have RS-232 older style uh, cable connector. On the left you have USB. Okay, so moving on. Uh, here's a website that you can get this product at. Uh, it's parallax.com, product number. Anyway, you can go there and download drivers. You can buy it or you can um, look at all the other information about it. Here's a computer that I'm using. You can use any computer that will be compatible with Mathematica 10.0, 10.1. Mathematica is made by a corporation called Wolfram, W-O-L-F-R-A-M dot com. You can go to that and you can download a free copy of the program we're using. It's called Mathematica 10.0. Uh, for You can download it for a free for a full one month test trial. Anyway, here's the first command of uh, four that we're going to be using is the only ones necessary to set up and talk through a serial port to any one of the pro products we talked about before. Here's the syntax of it right here. We'll go into the syntax of it in the next video. I just want to execute it to show you what you'll get if it's working correctly. Okay, here we see that that this device open command has created a an object or you can think of it as a device or uh, you can think of it the way I like to think of it is a serial port object and, or a device called a serial port object that's the way I like to think of it now here you can see that uh, the, the class of the device or the class of the object that has been created is a serial device or a serial port. In other words, a serial port. You can see the status of this thing. It's green and it's connected in uh, COM1. Up here you can see in this curly bracket the when we we essentially, like, I like to think of this the, when you execute this command you're asking, you're, you're informing uh, my 
your your program is informing the processor in your computer that you want it to open up a serial port specifically to be used by your Mathematica program. And it, it needs to know some things in order to do that. Okay. Uh, it needs to know what COM port you want it to assign it to. So here I put COM port 1. My choices could have been COM port 9 or 4 or any, any such number. You can look at the list of permissible numbers. But in this case on my uh, the manual, I'm limited. The manual for my product says COM1 or COM2 only. I don't know if it says that or suggests it. But I, for safety, I just chose COM1 in this case. Now, the computer needs to know some other things in order to be able to set up this serial port for you, for your Mathematica program. It needs to know how big the data bytes are going to be. And in this case, we chose 8 because that's what my device needs. Now, we won't be using this for this piece of information for my particular device because it doesn't need a parity uh, setting. So I've informed the micro, I've informed my computer that we don't, for this, for this serial port that it's setting up for my my Mathematica program, it doesn't, it doesn't need a parity, so we put none. Here's another example of something that my, that my, my product doesn't use. Sometimes products use handshakes. Mine doesn't, so we, we told the processor, we told the computer that for the purposes of, of my program in Mathematica that I'm writing, uh, we don't need a handshake, so we put none. Now, here's an interesting, here's an interesting uh, piece of information that the computer needs to know. Um, it calls us uh, the formal reading here. Formal command name is read buffer size. Well, the way I like to think of this is that this is setting up something that could be thought of as an inbox for your. Um, for your Mathematica program. Now, the when the sensor reads its data and sends back its results, which would be the distance to the target, it would just simply put that distance into this, what I like to think of as an inbox. In, in this case, the formal terminology for that is it's a buffer. It puts it in a buffer. This is the official command that does that. It sets up the, what I like to think, it sets up the buff, the inbox. And, it, and over here, it, it tells how big, how, how many bytes you can put in that inbox. I've, I've put 16 there, and I'm going to see if that'll work. So mo getting, moving forward, we have what I like to think of as the uh, serial port read command. It's uh, formally called the device read command. And you can think of it, I like, sometimes I like to think of it as the, the command for the laser to read a, uh, take a measurement. And uh, so anyway, here's the syntax for that. And I'm going to go ahead and execute it so we can see when it's working properly, hopefully it'll work properly, what, 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 uh, what the results will be. Good. Okay, so... Um, here we have 51.4 millimeters. You think of this as having a decimal place between the 1 and the 4. Uh, this stuff over here is not necessary for the purposes of this discussion. Um, now, I'm going to execute this command a couple more times because I want to, uh, I want to show on the, there's a window on the right hand side which is looking down on my experiment. And this little line right here, this little white line, uh, is, uh, the, is uh, well, let me turn the light on so we can see what's on over there. Uh, I have right here a folded sheet of paper that's my attempt at making a, a makeshift uh, projection screen. Uh, over here is, is, a, is the front face of this laser 
and you can see a little window there and uh, um, so anyway when this laser fires it'll hit this projection screen homemade makes makeshift projection screen and uh, you'll be able to see it light up the universe there so to speak here's the adapter with the red LED that indicates there is a command being transmitted to this sensor. So uh, I'll turn the light back off so it'll be a little bit more dramatic. We'll be able to see the lights flashing um, when I, I hit this a couple of times and you'll hope you'll be able to see. Yeah, okay. Uh, you can see the light there from the laser flying firing and when I hit this one more time if you look at the LED you can see it going okay so the the laser fires first and then the LED fires second and here's the results uh, 552.2 millimeters so moving forward okay after you've done this you set you set up a use a, a serial port You've used the serial port, and you never want to leave the serial port open because other things might want to use it. So we can afford to turn it off. And when I hit this, I'm going to scroll back up quickly so we can see the results. If I okay, now I executed that. I'm going to I'm going to scroll back up, and here we see status green connected. It'll turn to yellow here directly. Well, it should it should have by now. It didn't do it. Okay, um, maybe I didn't, oh, okay, for some reason, I'm scrolling back down to execute this again. I don't think I did that. Okay, so I need to scroll up quickly, and this status will turn from green to yellow, and it'll say not connected. And that's the end of the video, except to say that the purpose of this video was to show that there's four new that there's a new command set uh, a new I, I like to think of it as a suite of commands specifically to one set up a serial port and two to be able to communicate out to a sensor or device like a controller or and then back from that connected device back to the program and uh, so I think I think that's it and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close this video and uh